Number 15, this is 1999 D. Roosevelt Diamond MS69 condition with full bands. A superb business strike 10 cent piece in threshold of numismatic perfection. Just one point prevents this dime from the finest grade available. That is MS70. Strike is tech sharp and both horizontal bands on the torch are delineated. It was sold for $1800 on August 20th, 2023. Number 14 here is 1952 Lincoln Cent in PR67 plus condition with cameo designation. The PR stands for proof, which indicates that the coin was struck using specially prepared dies and planchets to create a high quality mirror like finish. A grade of PR67 plus indicates that the coin is in excellent condition, with only minor imperfections visible under magnification. The cameo designation refers to the contrast between the mirrored fields of the coin and the frosted design elements. A coin with cameo designation has deep reflective fields and frosted rays design elements. This collectible gem ended up selling for $1856.25 with buyer's fee. Number 13, this is 1944 P. Jefferson Nichols struck on a silver dime planchet, a rare error coin in MS63 condition. According to Heritage, the present lot is a lustrous example with light, honey gold toning and minimal post-strike abrasions. The high points are incompletely brought up and those areas retain the planchet surface. The date and the meat mark are clear and the complete. The strike is uncentered with most of we trust and United States off of the flank. Liberty and the date have stretched appearance due to unstrained outward metal flow. It was sold for $2400. Number 12, 1912S Lincoln sent in MS65 plus red condition. The 1912S is a challenging date to acquire with full red color and it is particularly scarce at the gem level. This high-end beauty boasts lovely copper red coloration and strong luster throughout. This one was sold for $3,112. Number 11. This is 1972 Jefferson Nickel in MS67 condition with full steps. Georgia's gold and pastel rainbow tones grace both sides of this premium gem. Lusters and Fully Strikes is a fantastic piece for the registry collector. It was sold for $2,500. Number 10. Here is 1926 Lincoln Sentinel, a 67 plus red condition. According to NGC, blessed with large mintage and slightly better than usual quality control for the 1920s, the 1926P is easily found in fully red gem condition from fresh or just lightly worn dyes. The example illustrated show what the advanced collector should seek in this issue. These scents are likewise common in all circulated grades. Examples could be found in, in pocket change right into 1960s. High-end gems are scarce. This specimen was sold for $3,125. Number 9, 1941, Washington Quarter in PR68 plus condition. Bright silver gray interiors border amazing peripheral shades of peach orange, magenta, violet, and forest green hues on both sides. The underlying surfaces of this superb gem proof are unmarked and fully struck up. This time for the finest collection of the proof Washington Quarters, it was sold for $3,720 on August 18th. 2023. Number 8, 2022 D. Lincoln Shield Sand, graded in mint state 68 red by PCGS. This pen is radiating vibrant mint luster, featuring boldly struck, pristine device elements and distraction-free fields. I appeal is outstanding. With overall 59 beads, it ended up selling for $3262.
Number 7, here is 1909 SVDB Lincoln Sand in MS64 red condition. A fantastic key date with alluring luster and great surface quality. The 1909 SVDB Sand is highly sought after and rare coin in the field of numismatics. It refers to a Lincoln Sand that was minted in 1909 at the San Francisco Mint and bears the initials VDB of the coin's designer, the Victor David Brenner on the reverse side. The rarity of this coin stems from its limited mintage and historical significance as the first year of the issue for the Lincoln Sand. Due to its scarcity and popularity among collectors, the 1909 SVDB Sand often commands a high value in the coin market. This one was sold for $4,000. Number 6, this is 1915S Buffalo Nickel in MS66 condition. A loose specimen with dynamic, beaming mint luster. This seemingly perfect San Francisco mint nickel boasts a wondrous eye appeal and soft pink highlights and a very nice strike. It was sold for $6,969. Number 5. This is 1925S Lincoln Sand with attractive toning, graded in mint state 65 red and brown by PCGS. According to NGC, despite a fairly substantial mintage, 1925S sands of desirable quality are quite scarce. Warning examples are quite common from widespread hoarding during 1930s and 50s, and mint state pieces of so so quality are likewise available. Fully red gems are very rare and tend to be much darker in shades and Philadelphia mint scents. This issue is perhaps not quite as hard to find with decent strike as its Denver mint cousin, but the typical 1925s scent is mushy on one or both sides. The dyes were used way too long and may have been improperly hardened as well, but the result was coins having blurry and grossly distorted features. This specimen fetched the sum of $4,920 on August 20th, 2023. Number 4, a rare error coin, 1972S Eisenhower dollar, double struck, both strikes of center, graded as PR67 cameo by NGC. The first strike was approximately 40% of center toward 12 o'clock. The second strike is about 35% of center toward 1 o'clock. The date and the mint mark from the second strike are bold. The date and the mint mark from the first strike are faint, but visible due to north of the air second strike impression. Colorfully toned apple green, cream gray, and autumn brown. A dramatic error on a brown Ike. Proof 40% silver Eisenhower dollar. It was sold for $7,800 on August 17, 2023. Number 3, 1911 Lincoln Sentinel MS67 red condition. The appeal of this full red superb gem to the registry set collector is rivaled by very few others. The coin exhibits frosty copper orange luster and remarkably clean surfaces with none of the tiny planchet marks and ticks that typically affect Lincoln's shoulder. The fields exhibit minor dye fatigue in the margins, but the strike is nonetheless bold on each side. Sold on August 17, 2023 for $9,600. Number 2. 2002P Indiana Quarter struck on a dime planchet, graded in mean state 64 by PCGS. A wrong planchet error on a briefly produced type. The Philadelphia Mint Park is bold and complete, so close to the edge. The Indy race car and the Washington bust are also complete. The date and E Pluribus Unum are off land, as is most of United States of America. It was sold for $17,400. And here is newly discovered specimen of popular 1969S double diverse Dinklin scent. It was recently showcased at Stax Powers Auction. Rated in mint state 63 plus read by PCGS and proven by CAC. Doubling on all of worst letterings are included, except the mint mark. Exciting as a newly discovered example of this rare variety, this is an important choice full red scent. It is attractive with bright, even pinkish rose mint color on both sides. 
There are few blemishes of any kind and most are so small as to be easily overlooked by the unaided eye. The 1969 SW verse is an extremely desirable variety, having an estimated population of just 40 to 50 pieces based on combined certification service statistics. This elusive specimen was sold for $72,000. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating content like this. See you in the next episode.